Okay, something that I ordered a week or so ago has arrived and I've been waiting for the weather to be nice so I could go out and give it a try. So let me show you what it is. It came from overseas, South Korea actually. And I believe it's pronounced Covia. It is the Covia Cupid Heater. It is a butane heater that uses the little butane canisters, similar to a Mr. Buddy, except a whole lot smaller. From everything that I've been hearing in the back of the truck when you're truck camping, the Mr. Uh, Buddy heaters are just so big that they, uh, too much heat. You can tell they've got this packaged well. Right. Probably should have done this before the video so you guys didn't have to watch me trying to get this thing open. But it does show how well it is packaged. Get this closed so I don't stab my hair mattress. All right, Covia Cupid. Hmm. There it is. It's the little orange tab that goes on here to lock it closed. Now we got both of them. This is a little bitty guy. Quite a much, quite a bit smaller than the uh, um, Mr. Buddy. And that Chinese uh, heater slash stove that I did a review on a couple of videos back. This is a lot smaller than it, too. So that was what I was looking for. Something that was going to be small and fairly lightweight. One of the first things, other than the small size and, and how much I like that, I really don't care a whole lot about this one way or the other. I mean, it's nice to have, but the quality of this compared to that Chinese heater that I was looking at is a lot better. And that, that's good. Okay. Let's look at it a little closer by trying it out. All right, this little heater uses a butane canister. Same canister that my stove uses, same canister that the uh, heater that we looked at a couple of videos ago, that Chinese heater slash stove, it's the same canister that it uses. These canisters run anywhere from around $2.99 at Walmart to maybe $3.99 at a place like Academy Sports, but they are readily available. And from the literature that I read, this bad boy should last somewhere between six to eight hours. So, you know, that's uh, what they say. So I'm guessing that I'm gonna be able to get a good on low, which if everything works right, low is all you're gonna need to keep this little area here nice and warm. Um, I'm guessing I'm gonna get probably a good six hours out of one canister. So six hours for three bucks, that's not bad. Let's see how it works. Canister slips in right here. These canisters have this notch. 
and I know you won't be able to see, but this hole is so that you can look down in here and there's a place for that notch to fit. So you push in and lock it in place. Let me show you. You look for where your notch is, slide it right in there and lock it in place. Then your English instructions say, push. And that lit right up. Okay, I've got that bad boy on high. I'm going to turn it down. Let me show you. It's got the nice red glow just like the Mr. Buddy does, Mr. Heater. Okay, I can't wait to see how this is gonna do. All right. We're here in the back of the truck. Been here for a little while. I've got this thing set on low and it is maintaining the temperature in here fantastically. It is somewhere around 32, 33 degrees outside. It's gonna get down to 23. But as long as you have the window open and you've got your carbon monoxide detector, I don't think we'll have any issues in here. I'm not going to run it when I'm asleep. I'll run it when I'm awake inside the camper here uh, before I go to bed and then again in the morning to warm things back up. But we'll just uh, see how it does said i believe that on the low setting like it's at right now it should run somewhere according to the literature six to eight hours which means i will probably get in real life probably about five hours out of that canister so that is really nice you know for three dollars for five to six hours worth of heat you can't beat that okay there you have it the covia Cupid butane heater. I think it's going to work out great. Thanks for uh, watching. If you like this type of thing, give us a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe. Hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Later.